this video, we are going to show the process of scanning a full denture that has had tissue conditioner. Now this could be either tissue conditioner or it could be a PVS or any really any reline material is fine. Uh, normally these come in with PVS, but this one has tissue conditioner, which is probably the best way to, uh, to set a denture up for a reline. So we're going to scan the denture. And we're going to do it with a kind of a, a, a neat trick that we do here to make scanning simpler. Scan the denture, and we'll show you the trick while we're scanning. Uh, and then we'll scan the opposing and we'll scan the bite. And just a hint at the trick, one of the challenges with scanning uh, dentures is that the palette is shiny. And most scanners on the market will just, just will not pick up this shiny palette without trial and error and using special materials. I mean, you, you can put a material on here, like a bite material, like a swirl of bite registration material or other, other products, but you can't put toothpaste, you can't dull it up. It just seems to always fail. So we're gonna skip it, and we'll show you that during the, during the scan. When we set up a case for dentures, and we'll pick, pick row here, uh, and what we do is we always choose scan only. Uh, with most of our scans, implants, dentures, that type of thing, because we really just want to acquire the surface. We don't want to tell the software that it's, that it's uh, a denture, a partial, orthodontics, implant restorations. We really just want to scan the, scan the surface. So I'm going to pick scan only, and then I'm going to pick scan, the scan page, and we'll scan the upper first. Uh, we've already calibrated and we'll pick the upper and we'll start scanning now we have been talking about this for a little while now we we always start with the intaglio and because if, if you scan the teeth it really can get kind of lost with all this shiny uh, shiny area here on the on the palatal side so we scan the, the intaglio first, the rough surface, because it really picks it up cleanly. And then it's easy to make sure that you're registering the left side with the right side, because often you'll get a little bit of a break here in the middle and it'll, it'll essentially be uh, the left side and the right side that don't relate to each other with a split and you really don't have any accuracy. So we want to make sure we have a very clean scan. So let's scan the intaglio first. So you can see that it really stitches together well, especially if you have a, uh, an impression or a conditioner on the inside, something that dulls it and so that it's not very shiny. So let's make sure we scan all of the intaglio first, even back underneath this flange, behind the flange and the undercut. You can actually put the tip down inside. See that? Make sure you capture all the holes, all the all the, uh, the the missed areas. Capture all of them, and then come back around. And this is where you'll scan the border. You want the border to be a very clean capture, right? And you can do a little bit of rolling. Oops, a little, a little out of control there. But you can do a little rolling action. And when you roll, you'll notice that often you'll capture some of the teeth, and that makes coming around scanning on the facial much easier. See that? Capture a little bit of the teeth and the borders. Try to keep your fingers out of the way. It's not a not that big a deal if you capture a little bit of the glove or your finger in there. It's okay. Because it'll cut it out later when you come back and scan it again. Okay, so now we're going to roll over to the buckle. All right, so now we're getting into some little shinier areas of the denture. But this part here usually is uh, captured pretty, pretty easily, pretty accurately. I mean, very accurately, not, not pretty accurately. It'll be, it'll be accurate. The trouble is always with a shiny palette. Let me move my fingers here. 
All right. Pick it up, grab some teeth, come back around, kind of a rolling back and forth pattern. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna go do the full roll around to the buckle labial. Now the, the scanner is really designed to do this, right? Scan teeth, so this is usually not a problem. Do a little rolling here. You now you don't want to spend too much time doing this. These scanners, they can only really handle so many images and they start to slow down. And some scanners will even just stop. They'll just they'll just max out at a certain number of scans and then you're then you're then you're done. Then you're kind of toast. Alright, looking good here. Let's get back on the teeth. There we go. So what we're gonna do, this is our trick. We are only gonna scan the teeth and the lingual just down to a certain certain distance. And we're not gonna worry about the palate. And I'll explain why in a little bit. Okay, you see where it struggles with shiny areas. You really wanna get this, there you go. That, that, that got it perfectly. Okay, now the other critical area is we want to make sure that we, so this, this, this trio scanner really scans nicely. So we want to come around and we really want to get the full distal extension. See, I'm getting a little pop up there about too many scans, so we want to wrap this up pretty quickly here. But this is what we want. We want the distal extension so we can put a nice butterfly in there and really reproduce this denture. And this is, a, this is, this scan can be for copying a denture, exactly. Or because we're gonna scan the bite and the opposing, we can make a brand new denture with, uh, with new teeth. All right, let me get this, there we go. All right, let's inspect this scan. Okay, we're gonna go back and fill that little void in there. Other than that, this, dent, this is a perfect scan. Now, the reason we don't need the palette is because we can make a virtual model and then the software can, um, can, can determine the, the palatal material, just like we do with any denture, right? We don't have a denture, we have a stone cast and we put wax in here. So the software can take the negative and make the palate. It's actually a really, really smart, um, smart way to do these. So let me just go back, just for the heck of it, uh, go back and scan just this little area here. All right, so I'll mimic what I'm seeing there. There we go. And just fill in that void. See if it got yeah, picked it up. Okay, and then come around. Fill that in. Okay, so this scan is done. And now we're gonna scan the opposing. And this scan, because we're really, we're just making an upper denture. And we, we obviously we want the bite, and we want uh, the opposing because we are going to put new teeth on this denture. We're going to set new occlusion. Uh, lower. Let's see here. All right, we'll scan the lower. Now, in this case, you know the patient's missing all their posterior teeth, so obviously you want to be careful with not having the patient bite down too too hard when you're doing the bite scan. All right, you don't want the denture to tip up. All right, so this will just be a simple surface scan, like everybody takes. All right, we're not adding any teeth in the posterior. I don't think we're doing a partial on this patient or a flipper or anything. So, very simple, fast scan. go upper lower and let's do the bite okay and I'm just gonna hold this in position for demonstration purposes but let's get a bite and and like we always say with with bite scans try to capture a lot of teeth 
don't necessarily just stop because it registered. Here we go. We have the lower. There we go. I like to keep capturing, capture a nice broad bite. So if it doesn't come over in perfect calibration, at least we have a nice bite registration. Okay, let's have a, just a quick preview. This is a nice scan. And what can we do with this scan? We can do a number of things. We can either copy this denture exactly, right, which is, uh, which is a pretty simple process, but of course a lot of patients want something a little bit different. Even tooth arrangement, uh, of course newer teeth if they're worn down. So we can make, either make a brand new denture or we can copy this one exactly, your choice. And then of course it's a you know, new denture, um, shade, uh, just anything you want to make changes to. Uh, but that's the simple process, and, and avoiding that palatal scan means you can scan for full dentures with just about any uh, digital impression machine out there in the market. So, yes, to digital dentures.